Alright, here's our sand we can start placing down now. I think I also decided that uh, at first I was going to build a rather small castle, but I think what I've decided now is that what I had planned for the small castle is just going to be the upper story of our two-story castle. So it'll be like, well, it won't be like this for you, but for me it'll feel like I built a castle on top of the castle, just because I have in mind what what my plan's going to be. Oh, my phone alarm's going off. I was taking a little nap earlier and I wanted to wake up at this time, but I woke up sooner than I expected, so uh, don't need the alarm anymore, I guess. Kind of forgot that I had that set. Sorry for the interruption, though. We'll get right back to placing the sand. And, uh, I've been kind of snooping around the net and just like thinking about what the next map uh, I want to play is going to be. And I found a few that I've liked, but uh, nothing has really jumped out at me. So um, if you have a, a map that you'd like me to play, uh, I'm not saying I'll do it, but if you... Uh, Put a link in the description, I might check it out and at least consider it for my next Let's Play. I'm, I haven't done Skyblock, but I've seen enough people play it, like enough YouTubers play Skyblock, that I feel like there's no reason for me to do it. It's like, we need more sand, but we've got more cobble here, so we can go ahead and place that. Uh, yeah, but like I've seen too many people play play it on YouTube and like have their series of Skyblock that I feel like I don't need to play it. Like I've experienced Skyblock three or four different times from three or four different people and so um, for me to play it I'd just be, I don't know, it probably wouldn't feel very fun to me because like nothing would be new. It would just be like, ah put torches everywhere, grow grass to as far as you can and like put up fences and stuff. and I don't know, like, it, it just doesn't appeal to me, like, there's, there's a fine line between, like, a fun survival map and, like, one that's too difficult that it's not fun anymore, and I think Skyblock is just on the other side of that, this is too difficult that it's not fun anymore. And I guess that's why it's sort of a challenge map, um, but I've just never really thought it would be fun to play. Um, so I'm not really a fan of sky maps, uh, but on the other hand, it's, it's sort of like there's only so much design space that map makers have. Like uh, you have this water space, there's like underground, and then there's like in the air. Or lava. It's like you have the two fluids, solid things and non-solid things. It's like hard to make a unique map uh, that isn't one of those four things. So I don't know, maybe a lava map could be next for us, but uh, I think that would be maybe really frustrating because if you fell in the lava, you know, not only do you die, but you lose all of your items. It's like, kind of like Skyblock, where if you fall off into the void, you know? So it might also be on that uh, on the other side of that fine line that I was talking about. I don't know how our boat got so far away. Um, so it looks like maybe we need two more stacks of sand. Um, but before we leave, actually, I, I need to place some torches down. <laughs> talking about Skyblock has me thinking about mobs spawning. Because that's like all anybody ever deals with when they play. A sky block is that, oh no, a mob spawned and blew all my stuff up, and now I have to fight, and I have no armor and no tools and stuff. Another thing that I really don't like about sky block 
And I I dealt with this issue in another uh, survival world that I played off screen just for myself. Is that I really dislike it when you play a custom survival map and it's like the only materials you have are the ones available to you or the ones that you can make, which is just a fancy way of saying you don't get iron. And I really can't stand maps where you can't uh, you can't find the ores that you want or need. Oh, it's because when we get off the boat, it goes shooting in the opposite direction. <sighs> How annoying. Okay, we were gonna go get sand. Where is my breathing station? There it is. Hmm. Another couple stacks of sand, huh? You might need to uh, find another situation to get sand. I think I'm going to grab another door um, so that we can breathe underwater more. Because I don't think that breathing station is close enough to any other sand that it's going to work for our purposes. Place a door here so I can start collecting this other thing. So I'm really interested in a survival map that uh, hits the balance between difficult and fun, uh, but also isn't as tricky as a uh, skyblock or a lava map. Ooh, we're gonna start drowning. I'm really good at that. It's like kind of the theme of this episode, I guess, or this series of episodes that I'm recording today is that I'm really good at drowning. <laughs> not not really a good skill to have, I guess. No. I can't dig that block, otherwise the door goes away, I'm pretty sure, so. Alright, how much more sand do we need? We almost have a stack, uh, but I think we need more than a stack, so I'm thinking maybe like a stack and then 30 should do it, so maybe like 100 sand would probably be enough. Another thing that would be really good for us to find is a uh, silk touch thing, but we, in order to do that we need an enchanting cable. I don't know how close we are to that, but we need books uh, as well. So that's like our next goal probably is to, uh, after we finish building the castle on the second island, is we'll need to um, start working on trying to piece together an enchanting table so that we can uh, get enchantments for our gear. How much sand do we have? So a little bit more. I think... Uh-oh, what did I do? That's going to travel up that gravel pillar, isn't it? Yeah. There we go. That's what I meant to do. We're going to have to fix this hole in our island that I just made. <laughs> I'll just put a sand block in it, I guess. Uh, let's take a nap, and then we'll head over and finish the uh, head over and finish the island. I ended up using a lot more cobblestone than I thought I was going to, so uh, I guess I'm also going to have to collect some more cobble from our cobblestone generator before I can you really even start building the castle. Maybe I'll do that off screen. I, I really hate it when people do a a Minecraft video and then all you see is them standing at a cobblestone generator for 20 minutes or whatever. So I try not to ever really show you that. So I guess I'll end up having to take a break after we collect or after we place this sand. And as usual, the boat goes flying in the other direction. I wonder if there's a way to fix that. I mean, without building a dock situation with like currents and stuff. Uh, 
Okay, getting closer to being done. Also, my throat's kind of starting to get scratchy as I uh, do this. I've forgotten how much you talk when you uh, <laughs> record on Minecraft video. And I guess I'll have to get back in shape for it because it's uh, it's been quite a while. I think the last time I recorded was January or February, and now it's um, now it's May. I ran out of sand a lot faster than I thought, so I don't know if we're actually going to have enough here to complete, complete the island. Yeah, it doesn't look like we are. So they've still got two, four, yeah, so two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I guess we can do what we did in that other episode when we were a little short and just come down here and collect some off of the bottom. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, seven. We're going to start drowning as per usual. We need just a little bit more sand. And we'll need some for the glass panes too, now that I think about it, so. I'll collect a little bit more. Oh. Wow, I thought I had more health than that. I thought, oh, it doesn't matter that I'm drowning. I've got enough health to, <laughs> to collect these last few bits of sand. Apparently not. Another thing that will be nice when we get our enchanting tables, we'll maybe be able to get, like, um, the enchantment that lets you breathe longer underwater. Can't really remember what it's called. I know Aqua Affinity is the one that lets you do things at the same speed uh, underwater as you do above the water. It's like breathing or oxygen, something like that. I think it might be oxygen. My little experience balls are lighting up. That's fun. Didn't know that they did that underwater or in the dark. This is kind of sucky because uh, it's so deep that, like, even if I go down to collect our stuff, um, I take damage from drowning just because it's so deep down here. Like, I, did, I hardly spent any time down there and I'm already drowning again. Um, hello, Sandblock. Why are you just sitting here? Okay. So I'm still missing a sword and I think a pickaxe. Still more things down there's some cobblestone. And arrows. There's a door. We had a door with us? Oh my gosh, I'm such an idiot. Ooh, there's a little cave there. I don't want to go in and check it out. Hmm. It's not really a whole... There's not a whole lot to this cave. It's some coal, though. I'm glad we could light it up, though. I mean, I wouldn't want... Is there another one down here? Is that a flower? Oh, it's a mushroom. We've got a mushroom that we've just collected. I don't know if we have a mushroom yet, but we found one. And that gets us a little closer to our uh, goal of growing large mushrooms, but... Oh my gosh, swim faster. We were just only swimming up from that, from the depths, and we almost drowned. We didn't even stop to do anything on the way. Oh boy. Okay, are we finished yet? No. 
go. Just a couple more to place. There. Alright, now we are actually finished with the uh, construction of the island. This is as big as I'm going to make it. I'm not going to bother uh, expanding it any further unless we absolutely have to because uh, it's such a pain to do and because it uh, because it requires so many materials and it takes so long to mine all those materials. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do is we're going to have to collect a bunch of cobblestone. Um, so I'll be doing that off camera and uh, in the meantime I guess I'll sign off. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, uh, comment, and subscribe. Share this video with your friends and uh, as I mentioned throughout the video answer those questions for me in the comments below if you have any uh, other maps you'd like me to check out. Um, link them there and I will uh, at least consider them for my next let's play. Thanks for watching and uh, I will see you guys in the next episode.